Cornell over Princeton. Thompson, good defense, shoves his man out of bounds. And Richie and Cornell loses. Coming to you from Gillette Stadium, Foxborough, Massachusetts. The fifth seed Cornell shocking the college lacrosse world with a big upset brewing over Virginia, the top seed. Dave Quint, Rob, our entire crew. Syracuse crushed Duke first semi. Cornell doing the same to Virginia in the second. Pinnell swimming through traffic. How about the moves by the freshman? And Cornell will settle things up. One of my concerns about Cornell beginning of this, this week was, were they built to win two elite games in a three-day period? Didn't think so then, but I'm reconsidering that now. Cool weather today. They've been able to go deep, utilize a lot more depth than we saw last week against Princeton. Thought they got tired at the end of that Princeton game. They got 48 hours. Hey, Juice, watch Big Look. Juice, hungry. Get their legs fresh. Stall warning. Here's David Lau. Got a follow. Footstep is dad. George with the two titles. Lau in front. Pinnell scores! With a flag down. How good is this kid, Rob Pinnell? Three and three for six today. Hey, Pinnell's really in touch with what the defense is trying to do here. The freezer right here, you'll see Kelly, number 33 for Virginia. He's the go guy. He's going to take the body. But the problem for Virginia, roll it, is there's no second slide. They leave Pinnell on the left side of your screen wide open. Popper and Shamel Bratton, top of the box, must slough in and support that slide. That's an example of poor team defense. All the parts must interchange like gears. I go, you got my back. Our stats guy, he's got your back. He always we, does. We, we all work in concert. Russ Glenn always does. Best in the biz. Timmy, he's Timmy, high. Timmy, right there. 17. All right, gentlemen. Down. Play the ball. Play the ball. Glenn backwards for Durkat. Cornell, another possession. Three straight, big red. Led by this guy, Rob Pinnell. Joining Paul Schmoller, Max Seabolt, Sean Greenhall as Ivy League Rookies of the Year in Cornell history. Some big names there. Game really reminds me of Tim Goldstein, who led Cornell to back-to-back -back national title game appearances, 1987 and 88. He's going to put up point totals, potentially, that rival Eamon McEnany. Don't think he's going to touch Mike French's numbers, because those are otherworldly. Big Red and no rush whatsoever here. Why would they be? No shot clock and calls across. We've got a huge lead against the top seed. They'll get a stall warning eventually, and Keep there it, it is. Keep it in. Keep it in. Outside the box, they lose it, but we're there. Ball control today. Passing. It's unlikely they'll lose it. 